From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, our God indeed is worthy to be praised. I'm Jeffrey A. Johnson, Sr. I'm the senior pastor of the Eastern Star Church in Indianapolis and Fishers, Indiana. And in these most difficult times, I wanna bring a word of encouragement to you. And this time it's from the Gospel of Luke, chapter five, verse 12 and 13. And it happened when he was in a certain city that behold, a man who was full of leprosy saw Jesus and he fell on his face and implored him saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then he put his hand and touched him saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately the leprosy fell off of him. I'll never forget my last day of dunking a basketball. I'm not just a basketball fan. I used to love to play basketball. I played almost every day. And I was preaching in Little Rock, uh, Arkansas for Bishop Steve Arnold at the St. Mark Church. And he set up a game of basketball for me. He knew much I enjoy basketball. And he had a bunch of college athletes at his church. They came over to the gym. And I was holding my own. I was in my thirties, holding my own against these young men. And I went up and I dunked the ball, but I came down so awkwardly and landed on somebody's foot. And I thought my ankle was sprung, but by that evening, I couldn't even walk. So I hopped into church and I preached, and then I had to hop through the airport. Then they pushed me in the wheelchair. My wife picks me up, I'm in a wheelchair. And uh, she's asking me what happened. She told me, I, I don't need to be trying to play with those young people. And uh, there I was with a broken ankle. I go to the doctor the next day, and the doctor says, now I'm gonna have to touch your ankle and feel around so I can feel uh, where the brokenness is, the area of the brokenness. And he told me how painful it was going to be. I said, wait a minute, you're gonna touch my ankle and it's gonna be painful because it's already broken. He said, yeah, but if I don't touch it, I can't heal it. He said, it's so sensitive to the touch because it's broken. But if, I got, if I'm gonna heal you, I'm gonna have to touch it. We're dealing with some sensitive issues in the United States of America right now, from racism to inequality, to social injustice, to even some of our family issues and things happening in our homes and in our community. They're so sensitive. But Luke teaches us that there is power in the touch of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The same Jesus that touched a man whose health was broken and the man became healed. And when we open up and allow Jesus to touch us in these sensitive areas. And it's going to hurt, but if he doesn't touch us, we cannot be healed. And I pray that God is going to provide the healing that all of us need, even in these sensitive times. Let us pray. Father, we stand open to go through whatever we have to go through to get the healing that we need. So even though it's sensitive, even though it's painful, Touch us, dear God. And we know that when you touch us, healing is going to come. And I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen.